Uh, hi. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's so weird going from Japanese to English, especially with you. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? <laughs> Nozomi. Nozomi. Okay. Yeah. And where from? I'm from Japan, Tokyo. Oh, from Japan, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Oh, which part of to Tokyo? Tokyo. Oh, uh, did you live? Uh, um, Fuchushi. Oh, Fuchushi. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Uh, what's your recommendation? <laughs> In Fuchushi. In Fuchushi or... Yeah. yeah so... Um, I haven't been to Fuchushi since I was eight. So oh, eight? the last time I went back to Japan, it was in yeah. Okinawa. So I would yeah. definitely say that um, Okinawa is a great place. Yeah. Definitely recommend people to go. There's a lot of uh, culture there that's separate from Japan. Yeah. And um, a place that I would recommend going is Tokashiki Jima. Yeah. So oh. that's the Tokashiki Island. Yeah. And I would say that if you're gonna go to Tokashiki, do your research first because um, their money this is just from what I gathered when yeah. I went there. Their money mainly comes from uh, people who are coming in to visit. Yeah. Um, you know, from what I could tell, that was their main way of making their bread. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you might get ripped off a little bit and a lot of people will try and sell you stuff um, non-stop <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get a little bit harassed. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if this is because I look foreign, mm -hmm. but um, like for one hour locker time, it was like, 600 yen for one person, which is like, how much is it now? Do you know? Um, I don't know. Uh, 600 yen? 600 yen. Uh, dollar? Uh, dollar? Uh, dollar? Uh, dollar? Uh, dollar? Uh, dollar? Anyway, <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. Um, and I, I think, you know, people do kind of try and rip you off. So just know what you're doing. Uh, um, yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> um, please tell me about Japanese culture. So Japanese people are super polite, uh, which is really nice, but it's yeah. also sometimes hard to get through the surface. Yeah. Um, what's really cool is that when Japanese people drink, they really go for it. You know, so Girl if you yeah. want to get to know Japanese people, get drunk with them because <laughs> I feel like Japanese people tend to get the most wild with their co-workers and their schoolmates out of any other country oh, that I've really? been to. Like, but like, in terms of how soon they get wild. It's ah, like the first yeah. time you go drinking, if you're still drinking at like 2 a.m. with your Japanese co-workers or your Japanese schoolmates or whatever, oh. I feel like you get to see the dirty sides much more than if you were to go out drinking with your, you know, like, yeah. American or English or, you know, European friends, wow. you know, like, n the first time. Uh, the first time. The okay. first time. Because I feel like Japanese people, when they drink, they just let everything go. They're, like, usually very put together. Yeah. But then when they drink, they're just like, we're drinking. Nothing matters anymore. Um, yeah. yeah. And if you're, um, if you're either a half, so yeah. in Japan, you call mixed race people half. Yeah. Or like myself, or if you're a foreign person going into Japan, I would yeah. definitely recommend that you don't set your heart on being Japanese. Uh -huh. Because um, Japanese people, um, they're still pretty a homogenous country. Mm -hmm. So when they see someone who does not look pure Japanese, they just kind of instantly assume that you're not Japanese. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're like me and you haven't, um, you know, you've had a long time living out of the country mm -hmm. or like, you speak other languages and sometimes it's mm -hmm. hard for you to speak Japanese mm -hmm. as fluently. Um, it can definitely be hard for you to be accepted as a Japanese person mm -hmm. or a part of the Japanese group, as it were. Mm -hmm. um, so I would definitely say that um, if you don't look 100% Japanese or if your Japanese is a little bit rusty, mm -hmm. um, if you go to Japan, you know, be comfortable with the fact that you are kind of an outsider yeah. but just just take pride in that and yeah. and be happy about it because Japanese people will really really um, enjoy your um, uniqueness yeah. as long as you are strong in it as long yeah. as you keep going with it um, and just don't feel sad about it don't don't yeah. feel like you're the only person because um, you know this is just um, a cultural thing yeah you know it's just a cultural thing and just embrace it hmm. it's you know it's it is what it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>